Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another quarantine vlog. Yes, we're still at home and yes, I'm doing another vlog because what else is there to do? I actually realized I didn't start the vlog, so I'm gonna start it here. Basically, today, well, in the next couple of clips that you're gonna see, Sophia and Chintzia did um, a care package exchange on their channel and they sent each other like beauty products, like skincare, like gym gear, like it was such a cute video. And then Chintzia texted me and she was like, do you wanna do like a baking care package where I send you, you know, a surprise recipe and all the ingredients you gotta make it? And I was like, oh my God, yeah, that'd be so much fun. So today, that's what I'm doing in the vlog. So I've got all the ingredients and the recipe and I have no idea what I'm gonna make in the next couple clips, so. I hope you're all excited to see what that turns out like. Well, um, if you follow my Instagram, you might have seen it already. But let's get on with the rest of the video. I think it starts in the kitchen, so yeah. Okay, I'm all ready for the day now. Look at my hair. It literally goes so blonde when I've just washed it. Like, look at that. Feeling like I've just got fresh highlights, not gonna lie. This is the time we've all been waiting for. Okay, let's open this baby up. Right. Hello, bitch. It's a baking time. I <laughs> love that. Right, so that must be the ingredients and that must be the recipe. So, these did go in the fridge, don't worry about it. So we have some soft cheese, a lot of soft cheese, some soft cheese there. Then we've got some butter. What's this? Ooh, some choco chips, two choco chips. What's this? We've got some sticky toffee sauce. A massive bag of caramel nibbled and then some icing sugar, right. She does say I need some milk and eggs, which I've got in the fridge, but they didn't transport well. So, hmm, soft cheese. The only recipe that comes to my mind that has soft cheese in it is a cheesecake. But then she hasn't given me like any biscuits for the base. So I don't think it could be a cheesecake. I'm literally baffled. Okay, right. I'm gonna open up this little book. It says, hello, bitch. Hello, bitch. Oh, okay, this is the recipe, right. One cup of butter, two cups of plain flour, half a cup of icing sugar, and half a teaspoon of baking powder, right? So, the flour and the sugar we need to get from my cupboard. Caramel bites, cream cheese, more sugar, two eggs, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, and toffee sauce. Right, so that's our recipe. So it has got flour in it. I thought it didn't have flour in it, but then obviously she just couldn't get any. So, oh my God, she hasn't actually told me what it is. She's just given me the recipe. So it says, preheat oven to 180 degrees. Cream, butter and sugar until light and fluffy, combined with flour and baking powder. Line and baking dish with foil and spread evenly on the bottom. Bake for 15 minutes or until edges are lightly brown. Set on wire rack. What the hell? Beat cream cheese, sugar, vanilla extract and eggs into... S beat them. Add two cups of caramel bites. Pour mixture on top of crust right and then bake it again for 50 minutes let cool for half an hour melt choco chips and drizzle over the toffee sauce then sprinkle remaining caramel bites over the top chill with chill until firm for six to eight hours and cut into bar slices bloody hell she's, yeah, she's giving me three pages of recipe here so I guess it's a cheesecake, make the crust, and then you put it on top. But this crust is fucking weird. And one of them, she's just put sugar. Oh my God. What? This is so confusing. Right, so she's put a cup of butter, plain flour, powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is icing sugar, right? But then she's put cream butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Like, which sugar is that? But she's only put, and then down here she's put half a cup of sugar. Hello. I'm just putting things on Depop. Okay, I'm just filming, I'm just vlogging the the recipe. And we're a bit confused because. Right, why? Because you've put here, yeah, 
yeah. powdered sugar, which is yeah. icing sugar, isn't it? Huh? Powdered sugar is icing sugar, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then down here, below the cream cheese, you put sugar. What sort of sugar is that? Is that the icing sugar? That's the icing sugar. So when it says beet butter and sugar together, you mean the butter and the icing sugar? Let me check. Because that sounds weird to me. So we're going to cream the powdered yeah. sugar together with the butter at the start? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need to know. I'm going to make this now. Have you started yet? No. Um, no, I'm just about to. Well, it was meant to be... This recipe, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Can you tell the people that? It's going to be really good. Um, the, the the main ingredient, like the name of it, is something something. But I couldn't actually find the thing, the actual main ingredient, so we switched it out. But it's still fine. Okay. So I don't need caster sugar in here. You don't need caster sugar. No. Or granulated sugar. Wait. Well, look at the recipe list. It just says powdered sugar and sugar. Yes. What is sugar separate to the powdered sugar? Look, this is powdered sugar, yeah? Yeah. Then down here you put sugar. Yeah, so that's castor sugar down there. Right, that's castor sugar yeah, down two there. Separate mm. things. Right. Let me just write that. So that was castor sugar. Yes. Okay. Right, okay, brew. Now thank you. Bye. Bye. The oven is set to 180 degrees. Now we've got to cream the butter and icing sugar, so that's powdered sugar, into a light and fluffy. One cup of butter. Shall I just see what a cup is in grams? Because it's going to really piss me off. What is one cup in grams? 128 grams. So let's do that. We're going to get our unsalted butter. Eighty, one hundred and forty-three, right, bro. And then the powdered sugar in. It says half a cup is sixty-four grams. So we're gonna do sixty-four grams of icing sugar. This is such a weird. I've never ever. Oh, I guess it's like buttercream, isn't it? But I don't know. I'm weird. Brilliant, right. Okay, it's kind of reminding me of buttercream because this is what you do to make buttercream. Oh, this needs... This is very, very stiff. This is so weird. Like, why am I creaming it when I'm not even making a buttercream? Like, are you alright, Chintia? Now it says combine with flour and the baking powder powder right that's all it says combine with flour and baking powder right we need two cups of plain flour so that means we need 128 grams times by two let's do that so we need 256 grams of plain flour <laughs> breadcrumbs can we see here so maybe it is a crust right a hundred more grams of plain flour so weird yeah maybe it's like i'm making like a dough okay we've got half a teaspoon going in and then we need 56 more grams of the plain flour Okay, so that's the first stage done in the recipe and I have breadcrumbs, like literal breadcrumbs. And it literally just says now, line baking dish with foil and spread evenly on the bottom. Like, am I supposed to make this in a dough? Like, oh, let me just fucking ring her. What's the problem now? Hello. Uh, I'd just like some advice. What tin shall I use? Huh? What tin? Well, I did specify like a rectangular one. You just said lime baking dish. Oh, get a rectangle tin. Oh. 
Oh, that's perfect. Right, this one. Perfect. Okay. Um. Also, it is breadcrumbs. So, do I make it in? Do I knead it into a dough? Or have you read the instructions? It just says line baking dish and spread evenly, but I can't spread breadcrumbs evenly. Like what? It's meant to be a crust. Okay, so use your brain. Right. And just figure it out. <laughs> right. What does the recipe say? Does it say knead into a dough? Oh my gosh. Because you know when you make millionaire shortbread, you, you knead it into a dough. Right, one sec. It just says, mix until it it has an even consistency and all ingredients are incorporated. And then spread the dough evenly. Yes, yeah, spread the dough. So it needs to be a dough. So it needs to be kneaded into a dough. All right. You missed that out. But that's just common sense. No, but I don't know what I'm making here. But sometimes, you know when you use biscuits as a, as a crush, you don't knead that into a dough, it's like this. You just picked a shit recipe and didn't write, write it out right. Okay. Hey, Alright, bye. I feel like we cleared a lot up there, so we're gonna knead this now into a dough. Okay, so it feels like I'm making, like, you know, like the shortbread for the millionaire's shortbread. I feel like I'm making that. God, she didn't put fucking knead to a dough, did she? She just put combined with flour and lime baking dish and put it in. Like, what are you on about? Right, okay, after much kneading, it finally came into a dough. I just had to add like some ta uh, some tablespoons of water because it just wasn't forming into a dough. I just, I think it was just too dry. It's looking nice. Right, now it just says, line baking dish and spread evenly on the bottom. So, I'm going to just, you know. So, I've lined my tin that she said to use. And I'm just going to put this in and spread it out. I don't even know how, th oh, I don't really know. I'm very, very intrigued to see what it makes. So it is some sort of cheesecake, obviously, because it's a crust, but like what sort of cheesecake? Like it's got caramel nibbles and toffee sauce and oh, I don't know, and chocolate chips. Like. I never make cheesecake. So this is actually such like a cute, fun little idea because I'd never make this like on my own, do you know what I mean? I, I know I said I was gonna start Money Heist, which I will tonight, I will start it. But for now, I've just, I'm have just i just putting like old episodes of Gossip Girl on and it's just so good. Like I've, I've just missed it and I'm just picking random ones. So I've picked season one, episode seven, Victor, Victorol. I think it's like Blair and Nate are like on the rocks and Nate's family want him to propose to Blair, but he still is in love with Serena. I feel like I'm on Bake Off and they've just given me a recipe and the recipe is like missing bits because Shins is not great at writing recipes. I'm just gonna do it a little bit. Just because that's what I do when I'm making my millionaire shortbread, so. I'll put this in for 15 minutes. Oh, very good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It could do a, a little bit longer, but I've taken it out, just leaving that to cool. And now we're gonna make this. So obviously this is the top of it. So beet, cream cheese, sugar, vanilla extract, stirring two cups of caramel bites, blah, blah, blah. Chin on FaceTime. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> now we're gonna do eight ounces of cream cheese. This is 226 in grams. Ooh, you can God. open it. There we go. Ooh. God, I haven't eaten cream cheese in ages. Mm. So 226 grams. Who the hell is that? So this is half a cup, so I'm just gonna do that. Half a cup. An uh, extract, and it goes. What are you laughing at? Why, no, do, why laughing are you at? laughing at that? Two, what, the whole egg, yeah? If it says two eggs. Okay, and two eggs. What are you laughing at? None of your business. We have secrets too. <laughs> oh, this smells it's amazing. Right, I'm gonna pour this on. 
Here we go. Oh my god, it's so liquidy. Oh no, all the chocolate is at the bottom. Oh no. Right, I'm going to have to spread that out now. <laughs> and make sure all the chocolate is evenly distributed. It seems very liquidy. I told Chinzia this, but I think it should be fine. You're baking it. Yeah, I'm baking it, that's what she kept saying, but... It's a nice, very liquidy. Okay. Ready! Oh my god, wait, you've steamed up. Right, this is what it's looking like. It's more caught around here, but it still looks good. She's firm. I've never done a baked cheesecake before in my life. But I mean, this is a good start. Like, she looks good. I didn't want to put it in for any longer because I didn't want it to start, like, burning around the edges. So I've just left it here. Basically, it's Blair's birthday and Nate has left the party to go be with Jenny. It's really sad. But, you know, tell me who you prefer. Do you prefer... Nate and Blair, or Chuck and Blair, or Nate and Serena. I don't, or. Nate I don't, and Serena and Chuck and Blair. Nate and Serena. Really, dang fuck off. Really, dang fuck off. Why is he gossiping? I like, I like Chuck and Blair. Even though they're toxic. Nate's just beautiful though, and Dan's, uh, Dan's not really my type. Blair. So I think I want the Serena with Dan, and then I can have you Nate. Talk to me. Logic. <laughs> who, who would you want? Oh. What's your type? <laughs> Nate, Nate. Really? That's your type? Yeah, Chuck, Chuck's pen, but, but evil. Ooh. Okay, it's been quite a while now. I've just let this to cool. It actually looks really nice. And it just says drizzle chocolate toffee sauce and the rest of the caramel nibbles on top. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a corner at a time. I feel like it will look better like that. Now I think we're going to add a bit of caramel. Where is it? There we go. Shall I go the other way? Maybe the different direction would look cute. Okay, this is what it looks like. I've missed a bit here, which is really annoying. So I think I'm just going to fill in that gap. And then this goes in the fridge to freeze for six hours. So thanks, Chinsy, for that. It is actually five o'clock. So maybe I could get this out at about half ten and just... See what it looks like. We could have a late movie snack with this one. Okay, it's actually a lot while later now and I've just come back from a walk. As you can tell, my hair is fogged. Uh, I was so busy baking that I didn't realize I had a package. And then I walked into the like hallway, literally like an hour ago, and I was like, oh my God, it came. Basically, as you know, my tie, -dye, my tie dye failed miserably, but then I typed in, I couldn't find a baby blue set anywhere. Like, I looked everywhere, like a matching tracksuit, like ASOS, Own Outfitters, Monkey, pretty little thing, misguided. I saw it first, like, nowhere had a baby blue set. I typed into Depop, I was like, look, someone's got to be making tie dye sets. And I found this girl, her name's Tie Dye, tie -dye Life, I think. Look at this. Look how cute! I think I got a large in the jumper because I want them really oversized. And then I got a medium in the joggers. She makes them herself. Like, I just love it. So each one is unique. But look how cute these colours are. I got this little pink vest as well. This baby pink one, which is so cute. It's a bit long, so I might cut it tomorrow. But I'm going to try it on and see how it fits. She's also brought out like a pastel yellow colour, which is my favourite colour to wear. Like, I love anything pastel yellow and I love wearing it in summer especially. So, I feel like another order might have to be purchased. But I did do some more online shopping earlier just because I was bored. Like, I was bored and I was scrolling and I just found a couple of bits that would fit into my wardrobe perfectly. Okay, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, I was going to show you what I ordered. Right. Before we get the comments about you order so much, right? I haven't ordered anything in about a whole month. Like I've been using everything. I've been wearing everything that I already own. Like I've been really, really, really good. But I was scrolling and I was like, oh, there were some gorgeous pieces which I had to buy. So first I did an ASOS order, an Urban Outfitters order, and a Zara order. Where's my Zara one? Let's show you the Zara. Here we go. Um, okay, I got this oversized blazer in large because that was the only size they had left. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it and try it because I don't have like a cream staple blazer. 
Um, and then I got these really cute vests, which, oh my god, they're adorable and, you know, basics in my wardrobe that I need. And then I also got this black, it's almost like a ruffled crop top, which in the sale for £6, so I couldn't, couldn't not get it. Also, I had some, like, matching trousers in my basket to go with the blazer, but I was like, you don't need them. You don't need them. Like, I'm sure you have a pair of white, like, nice trousers, but... You never know, I might order them in the future. And then on ASOS, on ASOS I got this cute little like satin bra and then I got matching satin shorts to go with that. I wanted this bra on the model from Monkey but I think it must have just been sold out because I couldn't find that anywhere. And then I just got this like stone coloured hoodie which is super cute. And then a yellow oversized shirt and then this really cool Puma long sleeve crop top which, which I think would look super cute either with like a blazer when I'm allowed out and just like joggers or even like denim shorts like you could do anything with that really so I got that while I was at it this morning I found some more bits so I did a second order but this is only a small I got this the ordinary toning solution and then I didn't have any black joggers so I got these men ones which were in the sale so I had to get them and then I got these cute little gold earrings because because I just thought they were really cute and they're not really hoops because all I've been wearing is hoops at the moment so I wanted to mix it up a little bit and then off Urban Outfitters I don't own any white joggers either so I got a pair of white joggers it's basically just basics and then I found this really cute peach tie-dye t-shirt which I was in love with um, a grey hoodie because I literally don't have one um, this cute like pink bralette oh my god i literally saw this and fell in love with it look the adidas x ferrucci who knew they did a collection together so i got that the only size available was a size 12 but adidas does come really really small so i always size up anyway so that sh that that should be all right and then i got this really cool um adidas sweatshirt i was shopping on oh why is the light gone really orange i was shopping on zara and i was finding so many cute bits for like holiday and summer and i was just like lydia do not buy it do not buy it because you have no use for it right now like buy it when we're allowed out or i don't even know just i was so tempted to get like some summer dresses and like silk camis and I was just like no don't do it like you don't need it yet so I have a chat about the ordinary skincare because I need help like it's all so like confusing to me like all the chemicals and like the acids I'm, I'm just so confused so I got that toner I think it's a toner I just was like oh I'm gonna try this out because I know what a toner does and I don't have one so I was like okay I'm gonna try this I need like help with like the actual skincare because it's all so confusing. I've seen the peeling mask go around, so I might try and get that maybe like next week, but not eight o'clock. Uh, I haven't had dinner yet because I don't really know. My eating pattern's actually fucked. I wake up at like 10, I work out straight away, I take the piss, like I wash my hair, have a shower, get ready. By the time I actually make it downstairs, it's like half 11, 12, and I'm like, well, do I have lunch or do I have breakfast? Like, I'm, I was torn. So today I had a smoothie, which I class as breakfast. And then I was like, well, when do I eat lunch? Do I even need lunch? When do I have dinner? So I was just like, I'm so, conf like, now I'm, I'm not really hungry. Like, I'm, like, I can eat, but I'm not, like, starving. But it, if I eat any later than nine, I'm just going to feel too bloated. So I need to go down and eat something. Oh my God, guys, Gigi Hidi is pregnant. I literally saw that and I was like, because she just turned 25 and i was like oh how adorable i was so happy I've, have i got anything else to talk to you about um not really oh another day another yes. evening of mariana watching something absolutely oh. shit on the telly oh. third time glee back than this so i'd rather have friday night dinner at least that's funny we can laugh along you finished it. Whoa. Okay, I just made some quick pasta, but I haven't eaten it all because I'm very full. Now I'm gonna eat my cheesecake. It's already been like basically demolished, but this is what it looks like inside. The base is super thick. So maybe I should have made that thinner and definitely made more of the like cream thing on top because it's quite thin, but it looks quite promising. It hasn't been in 
the fridge for full six hours it's more like being in there for five hours but someone aka mum was getting impatient i think i need one more bite to assess it very very nice only thing i'd say is make the base thinner because it's a bit too thick but it is super nice and definitely add more chocolate in it it needs more chocolate 100% but it's actually super good super delicious for my first cheesecake I'm actually super impressed happy I'm gonna eat this now and watch some gossip girl I think well I actually look ill this morning I don't know what the hell is wrong with me what the hell but basically I woke up I feel really just like really sluggish like my belly really hurts I've got back pains, not in a good way today, but I just wanted to vlog it because, you know, it's alright. Not every day can be, like, a good feeling day, do you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm going to have a little bit of a pamper morning because I got these eye patches from Pretty Little Thing and I haven't used them yet, so I really want to see if they work. They go like this, don't they? Oh my god. Ooh. And I'm going to put a mask on as well. Right, I don't really have a good mask that I use. This is literally just a Kiko one. Oh my god, listen to this. Dreams do come true, people, right? Ole Hendrickson are sending me some of their skincare. They said I could pick whatever I want. So I've got like a mask coming from them and like the toner. Anything that I basically didn't order, um, I've kindly asked for. So I'm literally buzzing about that. Can you believe that? Okay, I've retired to bed because I'm just really not feeling very well. I've still got my face mask on. Actually, these started sliding down my face. They were literally, like, down here. So I don't know why that's happened. I'm going to watch this episode, the season three, episode 11. I think she's having, like, an affair with Trip, and I think it's Thanksgiving soon. So I'm very excited to watch this. Okay, I've made it out of bed. I'm feeling a lot better. It is now about 12 o'clock. Do excuse, mum is hoovering, so if you can hear that, it's her hoover. But we're gonna make some pancakes for breakfast because I really wanna show you how I make my pancakes because they're the best. And I'm kind of feeling pancakes today. I'm gonna have like a non-healthy day just because self-care day. So this is the recipe I use on BBC Good Food. I've used it a couple times and it is the best one I've found. So, first we need to put the plain flour, baking pan, and caster sugar into the bowl. Okay, and then in a jug, you put in 130 millilitres of milk, some melted butter, and one egg. So, this is what I'm going to do now. You create, like, a well in the middle of this. I'm sure you all know how to make pancakes, but... And then, little by little, I'll add some mixture in and mix that together okay and then you just beat until it's all smooth and there's no lumps i think there's a couple lumps in here but i just can't seem to get them out so this will do this actually makes quite a lot of mixture okay so we've got our hot pan i'm gonna make two sort of like smaller ones probably like that and then one over here there we go to be fair, I'm making American pancakes today. I do really like the thin ones, you know, like the French style crepes. I do love them, don't get me wrong, but I was just in the mood for the thick American. They remind me of LA, so I was like, hmm, I'm gonna bring them back. And I have them with a bit of butter and maple syrup or golden syrup, just depends what I have in. And that is literally the best combo ever. I tried to melt some um, Nutella and have it with like bananas but it, it didn't work so right let's double check on these bad boys so look can you see underneath how it's nice and golden i feel like this one is ready to be flipped oh look how perfect she is and then this one as well oh look now this one yeah they're looking cute this one's not really a circle but you know we move pancake porn oh I love them. Look. Oh, the golden syrup stripping that. Mmm. Oh my god. 
the butter makes it like i need to have some unsalted butter do you want a mouthful of pancakes mm. want some pancakes mm. Mm? yeah well they're thick ones yeah i made them really thick oh. Oh. see if you like it what mm. do you think oh, no it's a bit stodgy though yeah a bit stodgy that's why i only have a couple mm. I'm gonna eat these and probably put gossip girl on. Okay, it's a little while later now. I had a little bit of a nap and a cup of tea and I do feel better, sort of. My stomach still hurts, but we're gonna do something really exciting. I've been wanting to do this for literally two weeks, but I just, I never, like, I literally just never got around to it because I always, I don't know, I was always doing something and this was something that wasn't on the top of the list. Today we are making this mirror with expanding foam oh look it keeps it's so windy ah oh, damn it i need to put stuff on that side but we're gonna put expanding foam all around the edge of here so it looks like a cloud you can see me i have mentioned i was doing this before this is not my idea this is not original at all um the first person there we go the first person i saw that did it was was Sherry Webster. She did like a whole DIY video. She covered like wine bottles as well, which looked really cool. And then I saw um, Maria on Instagram do it. And then Tia Lineker did it. And then Sophia's just done it yesterday. So I was like, I've literally had these bottles for two weeks. So I'm gonna do it and I'm super excited. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Oh my God. Comes out so fast. It looks like whoa it looks like i don't even know <laughs> oh my god okay this little bit on the end is looking a bit weird Let's tuck that in oh my god she looks so well i should have done it from this way first so cute let's do a bit more well, it comes out so fast. Go, girl. It was cool, didn't it? Mm. Oh, thank you. I like it. Okay, she's done. This side, because I used a different foam, looks a different colour and came out a different texture. So the two sides are a bit different. I do prefer this side. I'm gonna leave this for 45 minutes now. It's currently three o'clock. So I'll check back in with it. But I think it looks so cute. Like, just be careful I'd step. Like, I think this corner is my favorite. Like, ah, oh, just looks so pretty. Okay, it's almost been an hour now since I did my mirror. So I'm gonna go out and check it. But I've got like the glue, like spray thing on my hand and it's not coming off. Look, it's all sticky in between my fingers and I don't know what to do. Basically, um, I'm not happy with it because I've just been looking at it and it's two, because I use two different foams, this one is like really bulky and like got really no shape. And then this one looks like popcorn and it's nice and cream and colored. And then this one almost has a green tinge. And look, I've sprayed it, but it just looks weird. Can everyone see that? And it just ruins the vibe of the mirror because it just doesn't look right. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order another can off Amazon, the same can as the nice one. That should come hopefully Sunday. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape it all off. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. And then redo that bit because it's sending, it's just driving me crazy, look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and change it. Okay, it's a couple days later since I filmed the mirror clip, but I redid the other side like I said. I just had to order another bottle of the same foam that was on the other side, does that make sense? So I was waiting for that to come and I've, this bit of hair is annoying me, but I've finally done it. So this is what it looks like. I just had to redo that side and to be fair, it looks so much better, so much more symmetrical and just like, cohesive do you know what i mean it hasn't dried yet so it's still a bit white so, so yeah i think it looks really cute and then i've also done three picture frames i don't know how these are going to turn out um don't know if they'll look good but i just had these picture frames lying around i was like oh i might as well just try it so we'll see with them 
But uh, I'm literally just editing this vlog now and I just wanted to show you what they look like because I know everyone would be annoyed if I didn't show you what my final mirror looks like. So if you want to see the mirror in my room and like with all my other decor, go to my Instagram because I would have posted an Instagram story or an Instagram picture like in the mirror. So go and, go and look at that. But little update for you all, I'm in bed and I've put on my new Quarren Queen t-shirt from I Saw It First and I'm just sat here chilling, really, not really doing much. I mean, this is the extent of my wild Friday night. I've got a tea behind me that I'm just leaving to cool. Mariana's sat downstairs, she's being mildly, she's watching some... I don't even know what she's watching. But Drake's new album has just been released. Well, it was actually dropped this morning. And I got like loads of frantic texts from Lex. Like, quick, like, listen to Drake's album now. I'm not joking, this is as soon as I opened my eyes at like half ten. Obviously, me and Lex are massive Drake fans. We went to go and see Drake, oh my god, over a year ago now in Birmingham. It was literally like one of the funniest nights of my life. And we saw Tory Lanes as well. So that was really good. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and listen to that, see which one's my favourite. Let me know which one your favourite is, because I think when Drake drops a new album, I always have like three favourites. So I wonder what those three songs are gonna be. I will update you which ones are my favourites, but <sighs> it's just been a very chill day. I'm feeling a lot, lot better now. Like, my stomach doesn't hurt, my back doesn't hurt. I, I think just lying in bed really helps. So I kind of wish... I like fancy a walk now, but as soon as I leave my house, it's just gonna get dark and scary, so there's no point. Actually, I don't know, let's have a little, let's FaceTime Chin and see what she's up to. This is what I do when I'm bored. I just sit here and like call on my friends and see who picks up. This bitch won't pick up. Oh, this is coming. Hello. Okay, I'm just vlogging and I haven't vlogged all day, so I'm just chatting to the camera. Oh, that's really nice. Do you wanna tell the vlog what you've done? I had pasta. Yeah. My yeah. For my plan thing. Oh, yeah. That, those things. I had ice cream and I had green tea and some strawberries. That sounds lovely. Yeah. Also, mum called me and then Jane called her and then she said she'd call me back, but she never called me back. Because <laughs> she'd rather answer Jane's call. What a bitch. She's literally sat downstairs watching TV, so clearly she was in. What a bitch. She literally got off the phone with Jane about an hour ago. <laughs> What a bitch. What a bitch. She, she about to call you back. What a snake. What a snake. In my mirror. Yeah, mum says it's wonky. She says one side is one way and one side is another way. What a bitch. Like Basically, side. the two different can the cans were different. Yeah, she said, yeah. So what I've done is I've ordered another can and then I'm just going to scrape off one side and just redo it. I'm watching... Um, James Charles's instant influence episode number two. Is it good? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's called Instant Influence. So you've got two to watch now because it came out last week. What is it? It's a reality show. It's a game show. So there's James the host. It's like Drag Race, but to becoming a YouTuber. And there's like YouTube challenges, like but more makeup based because. But how can you become an influ instant influencer? Because you're on this show that's getting millions of views, and if you win, you win a collab with James on his channel and like fifty grand, wasn't it? Oh. So like you are gonna get famous on this because it's getting millions of views. So you're gonna get followers. It's almost like a huge a beauty YouTuber like boot camp. Oh wow, that actually sounds good. Okay. All right, go watch it. Say good night then. See. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Um, I've come downstairs and I was really craving something sweet, but the cheesecake cookie thing is not doing it for me. Yes, yeah, so I am craving something sweet, so I'm I'm gonna make some cookies. So first in the butter and the sugar. So we've beaten that together and now we just put one egg in. Beautiful. I literally forgot how revolutionary these are. I never ever used to use one and I refound it and I was like, oh my God, it just makes my life so much easier. Just look at that. Literally took not even two minutes. We located some Freddos and we just chuck it, um, we just chopped it into chunks. Can you see? And giving that a good mix. I love white chocolate in here as well, but we just don't have any. Like we're not a white chocolate family, so we never have any in the house. So just milk chocolate for today.
Yes, these are what the cookies look like. You can make them as big or small as you want, and these just go in now for 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Do not cook them anymore or they will burn. So I can't really do this one hand in mouth. Will you just come and open the oven? Quick, I'm gonna drop them. 11 minutes. See you later, babies. Go, Steph. Oh my god. My head looks fucked. I'm gonna have one in a bowl with some ice cream or squirty cream now. What? I'm gonna have one in a bowl with some squirty cream. Successful baking night. Ready? This is High School Musical, the musical. Thank I've never watched this before, but it's actually quite good. So we're giving this a watch tonight, and I'll probably go to bed after this, so.